going to go into the kitchen and I'm just going to give you a quick tour so that you can see what we're doing here in the kitchen for the holiday. So stay right there and let's get in. I'm Leona Dooley and this is Ebony Ivy and Time and I am so excited for you to be here for the kitchen tour. This is going to be a great time today and I'm doing this with my friend Denise Jordan of This and That and Apron Diva. And so we are showing off our kitchens today. So, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Leave your comments, share the love, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you're not a regular family mem member, then you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button before you get too deep into this video. So, uh, let's take a good look. We're gonna take a close look at the kitchen today and uh, just give you a quick overall view of what we're doing in our Christmas kitchen. As we come into the Christmas kitchen, I want you to see I'm standing right in the doorway of the kitchen. And I wanted to just take a moment to just kind of give you an overall view of what we're doing here in our Christmas kitchen. You can just see the warmth of the season. And this particular year, I thought, well, you know, I want it to be nice, but we're going to be traveling for Christmas. So because of that, I have it absolutely beautiful and yet a little bit minimal because minimal is okay. It's just the two of us. So you can see first, my kitchen table is set for the two of us and uh, I'm working that red tartan plaid, which I love for the holiday and for the centerpiece is my tear tray. So let's get in just a little bit closer. The tear tray is on a Lazy Susan and uh, so that I can turn it whatever way I want. And uh, it has a hot cocoa gingerbread theme. So let's get in a little closer. So we're starting with the sign that says Mrs. Claus. Well, you know who that is here. Gingerbread and hot cocoa made with love, fresh daily. So we've got hot, hot cocoa, cookies, cake, and bread. I have a little gingerbread ornament for a Christmas tree, as well as a little gingerbread fellow back there in the back. Now, because this is on a Lazy Susan, I can turn it and change its direction. So you're going to see lots of trees on the lower level, as well as a little house that says it's the most wonderful time of the year. Now, next to that, I have a little gingerbread fella here who, who has his rolling pin and he's ready to bake as well as a little gingerbread house sitting on top of a stack of Christmas books. And when we go up to the next level, you're going to see some cute little items. First, it starts with two little mittens. Aren't they precious? With little snowflakes, little red mittens to keep us nice and warm in the winter. Has a little bit of signage that says, lots of love. And our little gingerbread person here who's doing just a little bit of reading. Authentic hand rolled candy canes. With a tree in the background. Have a little gingerbread girl here. She's in her apron. 
and wearing her Christmas hat. I found some cute little beads that are so representative of candy canes and I've got a little candy cane that's here and a little on the end of those beads there's a little gingerbread person in their candy cane um, muff I guess you call it or their scarf so that sits there and also there are little rolling pins let me see if I can turn this one around. It says peppermint. And this one says candy canes. So we have those in the cup. And we want lots of hot cocoa so we can stay nice and warm. I keep my table fairly simple because I like to have the plate and uh, setting ready to go. Got our napkin. We have our beverage glass. And I'll put the silverware there when it's time. I'm bringing you over into the bay and uh, just letting you see what I've done. I've got garland and ribbon as well as the Christmas tree for the kitchen. And you helped me decorate this. So Merry Christmas to all of you who are here because we took the time at lunchtime and instead of just eating lunch, we took the time to giggle and to decorate during lunchtime. So, We've added lots of gingerbread, lots of peppermint, lots of snow, and our Christmas tree for the kitchen is just absolutely perfect. And for those of you who may not have seen this particular episode of lunchtime, you'll know that I started with our tree with two gingerbread character yard steaks that I found on Amazon. They are so cute. They made the tree. No one will ever know. You can see there where his little steak is, or her steak, and that's how I attached her to the tree. So when it comes to decorating trees, as you can see, I'm not a simple girl. I like a lot of decoration. Lots of ribbon, lots of ornaments, Lots of fun. Now, as we work our way from the bay, I'm going to take you through the kitchen from this direction. So I'm starting with our breakfast bar. You can see my coffee area. Baby, it's cold outside, but we've got nice, hot coffee. Now, the nice thing about this little snowman is that he's cute but he also serves a purpose. His little hat comes off 
so that I can add sweeteners or if you had pods, you could add pods inside of him. And so that worked out very well. But next to the coffee pot, I wanted something with a little sparkle. So I found a Merry Christmas sign that will be very visible to anyone coming to the coffee bar, as well as a little lantern filled with red and white lights to carry, keep that red and white theme going. See that cute little tree? He's awfully cute. And it's nice because I can move him out of the way when I want to. I also included the sign is attached to a tree that also has been wrapped in the red and white. But he's really not that visible because of the sign. And that's okay. That's okay. A cute little red and white Santa. And then I have a sign that says, there is no place like home for the holiday. Now, you know, Christmas would not be complete without the Santa holding the gingerbread house. And he's got his whisk. He's ready to bake up some serious holiday memories. He's so cute. Look at those little buttons on his shirt. The peppermint in his pocket. The details with this little Santa is just absolutely beautiful. I also wanted to bring you to the rest of the uh, island so you can see Mr. Mary and Mrs. Bright. I thought this was the perfect place for my 2022 kitchen vignette. Now you know with kitchen vignettes, first of all, they're always supposed to be on a tray so that it makes it mobile. So when I need to use that space, I can just pick up the tray and sit it somewhere else. But Santa, is holding his bag of gifts. He also has some nice greenery, his little furry jacket, cute boots. There's a tree in there, little baby tree hiding, as well as a house tucked in behind him. Now on the front of the house, there is a peppermint wreath. And can you see the little wagon in front of the door? And guess who's in there? A little gingerbread guy. And he is my theme for this particular vignette. Our word is joy. Bring joy to all people. I have a little girl, a little skater, and she's standing there just observing. I love a decorated window, no matter what season it is. It really doesn't matter, but you'll see that I've added a few things into the window. Its main message is peace, heavenly peace. It's actually decorated so that some of this I really could keep through the winter, but I probably won't just because of the ornaments, but some of it may get to stay. I had found this cute little Santa, and look. Let's see if I can get Santa to show. He has on glasses. Can you see those? Isn't he cute? 
and he's telling the number of days till Christmas. Now, by the time this video comes out, I'm sure those days till Christmas will change, but this is what it was the day that we did the shooting. And of course, as always, you want to have a nice, clean, shiny sink. Over on the other side is my little gingerbread person and a little red house. Now, in my functional spot for right here by the sink, I have this cute little Santa. And he's very much, sorry, very much like the snowman that we looked at earlier. The top of him comes off. And inside of him, I can keep my pods for my dishwasher. That's where they stay. Ooh, it smells good. I have my dishwashing liquid, and I'm using a dishwasher. I'm using Melaleuca this month because it has a, it's a beautiful green, as well as my Dawn spray. As a part of the tour, I also just wanted to give you a quick overall view of the things that are going on inside of these cabinets. Now, I know you've seen them. You've seen them when they were bare, and you saw me as I put things back into the cabinet earlier this year. But, you know what? As you're going in and out and in and out of your cabinets, sometimes, sometimes things stay absolutely perfect and sometimes not so much. But in this particular cabinet, this is my holiday cabinet. So all of the plates, specialty plates that I use for different holidays can be found in this cabinet. As well as I have a spot for my technology so that it doesn't have to be on my counter taking up valuable real estate. Now, I'm being totally candid, and I'll be honest with you, I didn't change a thing because I want you to see that this is a real kitchen. This is where we have lots of things that are in perfect order and other things that may not. I have my coffee mugs, and you can see I have my to-go mugs, to-go cups, here that are in the red and white stripe. I have my little red cups that I use for guests or anyone who's coming in quickly, anytime. I also have plates, our everyday plates. I have my two favorite teas that I love by, um, this is by Hardy and Son. I have Holiday Heritage as well as Hot Cinnamon Spice. They are both amazing and I have a link in the description box for each of those for you to be able to pick those up because they really are delicious and you'll want them all winter glasses my bowls my larger pasta bowls as well as some other plates if I need extras I have more holiday plates on the in that upper corner. Those pie plates, mugs, and when I need a really large bowl or a serving bowl, they go right there. As we get closer to the stove and the cooking area, you're going to see another little corner set up where I have Merry Christmas. I have a cute little gingerbread house that the roof can come off. And I have some sweeteners that are in there in case I need to use them, as well as trees, a jar with lights filled with Christmas decor, and in front, I have my favorite holiday magazine and cookbook. 
also over in this area I have a little snowman where I can rest my spoons or forks or whatever it may be as I'm cooking, my butter dish, my salt and pepper, and I have my shakers. My shakers are two little gingerbread people. One is holding a spoon, a little mixing spoon, and the other is holding a delicious dessert. Ho, ho, ho. In front of my stove, I have my little gingerbread towels. And as we get over to the baking area, we're going to want to see what's going on over there. Fresh baked gingerbread company. Cookies and cakes made fresh daily. Now that's next to my KitchenAid because I do a lot of baking as well as I have another spoon rest that's right here that is a little gingerbread guy. He's quite cute. I also put in this area some Merry Christmas napkins because it just so happens that I've been baking cookies Baking my Christmas memories. So I'm sharing with you because you're here today visiting so you can sample the cookies that I've made. And guess who else is here? We got Santa, a little holiday chocolate house. So our baking area looks pretty nice for the holiday. My spice area really gets work out. And it is always being organized and reorganized constantly. As you can see, lots of spices. I have three shelves. Things that get moved. And of course, because we've been doing so much cooking and so much baking, everything is everywhere. So this is another section that's going to need a little organizing once we get into 2023. I thought it was absolutely hilarious when we decided that we were going to show our cabinets in this kitchen tour because I'm thinking, I don't have time to go through and, and perfect these shelves. I want you to know that this is the way it looks. I'm using these cabinets as well as the big guy. So when he has things that, that need to be in this cabinet, he puts them in whatever way he wants. Now you're going to see over in that direction on the carousels that I have some of those spices that I use probably every day and that he uses pretty much every day. And that's the reason why they're here. Quick access. Now, oh snap, above the microwave, I almost forgot, but I have storage containers that sometime I actually put down on the counter. But for right now and during Christmas, they're stored up over the microwave. My, in my carousel this is my corner unit and it allows me to turn these items so I can store all of my pots and pans 
on this turntable. which is so handy and so nice. That's the upper shelf. And of course, I can take you down to the lower shelf. Now, up above my baking area, you'll see on the first shift that I have quite a few things. And it is not in perfect condition because I really have been baking. But you'll see my jars that I use as I'm storing or uh, putting things away, as well as all the pie plates and tart plates are there, as well as those rectangular items that sometimes just take up an awful lot of space, but they're on that top shelf ready to go. Now, I don't know, but know about you, but I sometimes struggle keeping these drawers absolutely perfect, especially when you have a lot of wooden spoons. So my wooden spoon area over there is just a little disorganized, but we'll work on that in the new year. In addition to that, I can see one thing I need to just throw away is a straw, and I'm not sure how you even got in there, but I have my skewers, my um, items that I use with my dough, my measuring spoons and cups, as well as the beaters that I need for my hand mixer. All of those items are right here in the drawer with the KitchenAid handy and ready to be used. Now, let's look down below. Now, in the top pull-out drawer, I have all of the pans, the measuring cups, my food processor, um, as well as the hand mixer, and the beaters to the KitchenAid are all right here in, at just easy access for the kitchen. In the lower pull out, pull out, I have uh, my mixing bowls, I have my pie plates and cake plates as well, and pans. I have additional measuring scoops, as well as my Glad Clear Press and Seal. I've got Heavy Duty Reynolds Wrap and parchment ready for baking. If you are not a part of the Ebony Ivy and Time family, then I invite you right now to hit that subscribe button because we do these kinds of things all the time. And I love having additional people in the house and in the family. So, hmm delicious cookies made with the family and they're for the family. That's what we're doing here. Now, these are this, this is where it gets a little crazy because, you know, we all have things that need to be stored and you want a nice place to be able to put them. I keep my plastic ware here. Um, I also keep um, our to-go cups, 
and uh, you can see I also have our teapot, the electric teapot that's there, and some of those items like uh, I use a lot of different creamers and sugar containers. All of those things are stored on top out of the way because I only change those maybe once every three or four months. I also have some bowls on top for special items. So anything that's special goes on top. Everything else that I need to use pretty frequently goes on the lower two shelves. And you'll notice that I try to have the container as well as whatever top that should go along with it right there together. Now, whether you know it or not, this is organized. <laughs> this is organized. I have my spatulas and my spurtles here. I have the longer spurtles in the back as well as the whisk. I have those particular spatulas that I use and need quick right here. And of course, I have my thermometer, little scrapers, those little specialty items. I have the, the lighter for my candle that I light every day. It's right here in that top drawer, easy access. Because I've been baking, I've got my scoop, my little ice cream scoop is right here, as well as jar cleaners. All those kind of things are handy and close to the sink so I can get to them very easily easily and quickly in that drawer. Now, could this stand to be just a little bit straighter? Sure, but that would mean I'd have to purge, and I am just not purging between now and Christmas. We're down in the second drawer where the large items are. This is where the large ladles and spoons, the larger spatulas, the, you can see I've got my little colander here. I've got um, um, items that I use for cutting, specialty items are in here. And uh, of course, I need my oven mitts and they always stay in this drawer. But this is for large specialty items. And last but not least, we are down here where all of the tops stay. One drawer holds all of the tops for my pots and pans. Now here's my silverware drawer. It is pretty organized and you know, things are in there just the way I want them. You'll notice that one section I have my tape because I've been using a lot of tape lately, as well as several pairs of scissors. It's that season. We need those items. So that's the reason why they're there and handy. I also keep a permanent marker in here as well as a ruler because I'm forever doing some type of measuring and writing something that needs to be permanent. In the cabinet below, these are the items that I use frequently, but not always. These are my glass items, glass storage containers that I'm able to keep in this drawer and they stay right here. Um, any glass baking dishes are in on this particular shelf as well as, you know, you have items where I need my mandolin. It's here, right here, easy access. And on the lower shelf, I have my sous vide, which is nice to be able to store this right here on the shelf, as well as some other glass items 
and a beverage container. This is their spot. We were fortunate when we had this kitchen put in that I was able to have a place for the trash receptacle and the recycling receptacle as well. So that's where they're located. Um, I try to keep them nice and clean and empty most of the time. And uh, as soon as it fill, the bags fill up, out they go. Now this is my island that I do a lot of work on. And this is where lunchtime is usually set up. I set up right here on this, this little portable island. And uh, on this island, you'll see that I have several uh, baskets that are here that house my kitchen towels. And I also have my cutting boards. And the one thing I couldn't find a place for was my cake pan just because of the way it's made so guess what it's right there for now and when i find a spot for it then i'll find another place but these little wicker uh, baskets are perfect for kitchen towels and those types of things that you need to have a place for but you don't want them seen obviously There's a wreath I did earlier in the season, as well as a nice little lantern at the door. I'm going to give you a holiday peek into the pantry. Notice, peek into the pantry. So, they're decorated. And as we open that pantry, let's see. Well, first of all, you're going to see the holiday collection of aprons, as well as a few others. But I have Ginger from the Apron Diva. She's here. And it has been well used. We did a lot of baking with Ginger. As well as Mrs. Claus. And it is so cute. And looks so pretty when you have it on. Very dainty. And I also have a red, a red and green plaid apron. And I have one of the Divas little short aprons, which is so cute. If I'm going out and I'm going to cook at someone else's house, this is usually the apron that I take. Very Christmassy and very nice. So it's hanging here also in addition to several other Apron Diva aprons that are here, but we'll talk about those in another season. So let's take a look at what's going on. Now, this past weekend, we did major, major, major baking. And so because of that, um, the baking items at the top are all of these containers deal with baking from powdered sugar to the self-rising flour. In each of these containers on the shelf, they house, say for instance, this one deals with anything that relates to coffee, related to coffee. And in fact, it was so much that I needed two because we have different types of coffee depending upon what the taste uh, may be or who's here. So coffee, uh, here I had uh, large containers of spices that um, I have the specialty containers over in the other area. This is the big guy's basket for all of his little snacks that he has. Then we'll come down to the other uh, containers that I like. I can see what's in them. I have my Hershey's Kisses here for another batch of cookies. Now. I have some specialty containers that are here that are holding certain things. For instance, this container is um, um, pancake mix. And my pancake mix is here. I just have to add the wet ingredients and the pancakes are ready to roll. I also have uh, a container with my cornmeal 
that keeps the cornmeal perfect. Over in this area is the tea, some of the tea. I have some of the tea in other areas as well, but you know, this is the real kitchen. On this area, I have, uh, I love these Lazy Susans with the sides so that they can turn and I can find whatever canned good it is that I need. So they're on that level. Now, when you get down to this lower level, ah, it needs a little reorganizing. And we'll have to work on that after Christmas. Now, I'm bringing you down. And you'll see my, my cereal box is pretty tall. I have lots of teas that are stacked up in this area that I just didn't have room for over there. I have my syrups and, um, well, mainly syrups like uh, pancake syrup, corn syrup, whatever that may be. All of those are in this container. Uh, this container, I have to admit, is somewhat of a hodgepodge, but there are things that I need right now in the Christmas season. Now, once we get over, we're into more pasta and those types of things. And, and you can see I even have cookies that are inside of the area. And that was a good place to store that container. As you come down... You're going to see more stock, but you're also going to see my crock pots that, you know, we use a lot of during the holidays for our different functions that we're having. And if you look down at the bottom, you're going to see that I have my containers filled with items that I have two, three, or four of. And that's my extended pantry down there at the bottom. My family would like to extend to you an absolutely joyous Merry Christmas. May you have a blessed time with your family. May your New Year's be absolutely amazing and everything that you expected. And you know what? Here at the home of Ebony IBN Time, that we are looking to 2023 with great expectations. There is a lot to do, and we are going to do it together. And we're going to do it right here in the kitchen, around the table, and with our family. So, I hope you have enjoyed just a little touch of Christmas in the kitchen, and that you are watching and expecting fun things from our family. So, I'm looking forward to seeing you soon, and... Have a blessed day. Thank you for coming.